The purpose of this training video is to show how to use the search features in Find a Code. You'll find tips on how to use some of the other features in other demo videos on the Find a Code YouTube channel. But what we'd like to do today is show you how to access the search features in Find a Code, which is really the heart and core of Find a Code. It's how to search and find the codes you're looking for. But please keep in mind that that is only one of the many features that Find a Code offers. And so in other videos, we'll explain how to use some of the other features that, that are found in the Find a Code tool. First, at the home screen here, um, there are actually three search uh, options. You can start at the top of the screen, and this search box will show up anywhere you are within Find a Code, so you can get to it quickly. On the home screen, we also have the search box right in the middle of the screen that you can go to get to your Find a Code search right away. But I'm going to take you to the Find a Code search page, which has a little more detail about how the search works and shows you some of the other options within the search. First, there are a number of tips that you can see here on your screen, and I'd like to take you through a few of them so that you know how to get the most out of the, the powerful search functions that Find a Code has to offer. Um, so if we just want to start in and we know what the code is that we want, we can type it in and search for it, and we'll see that we come up with a number of search results. The search results include the code itself as well as other places within the CPT code set that includes this code in the chapter section guidelines. You'll note here that in the yellow box on the left it states that the first one is an actual code and the rest of these are actually from chapter or section guidelines within the CPT code set. Now if I click on this it'll take me to that code and I can do that. You know and I'm there and now I can go to all the features and we'll visit these in just a moment. But if I go back and I know exactly which code I want, I can type an exclamation point in in front of that and it will take me directly to the code so I won't have to wait for the search features I want to ch choose from the, the list of searches. It'll go right to the code. And that's a handy little shortcut. Using the exclamation point makes the, uh, the search absolute. Now you can search by code, but you can also search by code description, by keywords. So for example, let's say that I want to search for something that has ambu in it, but I don't know if it's ambulance or ambulatory, I can't quite recall. So I'm going to use the asterisk, the wildcard feature, and then hit search. And what that does is it helps me get options that include ambulance, as you see here, or ambulation. And these happen to all be from the HickPix code set or the HickPix modifier list. Um, and so I can use that wildcard if I can't quite recall the rest of the phrase that I'm looking for. And so that can be a helpful tool as well. Now, I can also narrow my search by using some of the features found on the left-hand side of your screen. We have the, the, the different code sets that are searched when the database takes a look. And so, for starters, at the top, we can search by specialty. And so we can narrow the search down by, you know, say, emergency medicine. And now you can see the search findings are different because these are the ones that are relevant to emergency medicine. It brings up some CPT code information, some ICD-9, as well as HCPCS. Now I'm going to keep it on the general setting because so I want to show you these different features here as well. Maybe I don't want um, HickPicks. I can unclick the HickPicks box and the modifiers and now I see CPT and ABC codes. Um, but let's say that I want to see CPT codes but not the chapter and section headings. So if I open up the expanded search box here, you can see that now when I look under the CPT heading I can, I'm told that there are 15 findings within the CPT that are codes and there are 8 findings that are chapter and section notes. So if I want to get rid of the chapter and section notes, I cl click that box, and now you'll see that my search results only include CPT codes and ABC codes, but I'll unclick those, and now I've narrowed it down to only findings within CPT and ICD-9. And so you can see how you can narrow your search or widen it to include all kinds of information depending on what your needs are. I'm going to keep that back on simple search. Another nice feature here in the find a code search area is let's say that I don't know how to spell. So I want to look up a chiropractic code but I think it's spelled with a K. I hit search and fortunately for me um, the autocorrect feature lets me know that there might be another way to spell this and so I can click on that and now it'll bring up the findings that include the word chiropractic on it. And so that's how you use the search features within find a code and maximize your find a code search. Watch for other videos on how to use some of the other features found in find a code.